guys good to have you all back it is monday let's get back into crafting i hope you all had a wonderful weekend if by chance you just discovered my channel during the weekend let me introduce myself my name is margaret i am from the netherlands i do mostly paper crafting junk journal related projects a little bit of junk journal making uh, and the occasional uh, vintage treasure hunting yeah i have a project in mind yes a sort of a rough idea but no prototype so it's another adventure let me tell you what the plan is for today i think it was yesterday or maybe the day before that i saw a video by julie the lovely julie from camellia craft designs doing something with paper bags uh, as usual it was a wonderful video i love her so much uh, i happen to have stumbled upon a whole pile of these sort of paper bags these are for, i believe for sandwiches or such i don't really know uh, I just uh, took a couple out. I think I have this big a pile. And I was really inspired by her video. I'm going to make something completely different. Well, <clears throat> sort of different, of course. Um, but I was inspired uh, by my lovely friend Julie from Comedia Craft Designs. So it's going to be, I think, I think I'm going to have a pocket. And then uh, it's going to have a closure so that you can put stuff in and gift uh, as a happy mail, uh, put some ephemera in, uh, in your journal, you know, for Christmas, what have you. I don't know yet. I have the idea, but I do not have the complete sort of prototype in mind. So it's going to be a paper bag project. Today we're using paper bags. I want to use some scrapbook paper. Um, I've had this in my stash for a couple of months now and it's really, really nice. And I need to use it. So um, some of these. I went to Ikea this weekend. And they had their Christmas uh, displays set up already. Um, and they had some lovely, lovely goodies for crafting. Well, in my opinion. They had this. I love this. I use this all the time. Uh, for closures and such. They also had this. It's like, it's paper. Or I believe we in the Netherlands call it raffia. Uh, but I do not know for sure if that is it and if you also call it raffia. I like it. It's gold. It's like matte gold and shiny gold. Let's say these two sort of colors. Goldy. And also found some washi um, tapes. Very Christmassy. They are very Christmassy. I'm not ready for Christmas yet. Uh, this to me is too Christmassy. <laughs> but these two I really like. So, And I think they go very well with the paper bag. With the these. Don't know about these, but I really want to incorporate this. And you know, some bits and bobs. So I'm going to use these um, sort of supplies. I am going to use um, uh, this. I'm going to use, um, you know, glue, scissors. Um, I'm going to do some stamping, some background stamping. Julie did that as well. I th or maybe, maybe even some stenciling. I don't know. I want to create a sort of a background. I might even, might, do some splattering or that style with some gold. So it's going to be with a touch of gold, I believe. So no fancy stuff. <clears throat> I am not using um, uh, die cuts or... Heat guns, or you never use heat guns, love. Why don't I'm not gonna use my heat gun? No, <laughs> no, or nor my sh no sewing machine. No, just the normal stuff. If you have paper bags, it doesn't need to be this size. You can have them smaller, you can have them bigger. Just a paper bag. If you have that, I hope you can craft along and let's see what we can make. Let's start with the construction of the bag so that I can sort of show you. What the idea is, what I want to make with you. I did fold one uh, before just to see, will that work? It, it will work, but I haven't really figured it out just yet how it's going to work exactly. <clears throat> what I want to do is first glue these uh, together. Yeah, because they bother me. I did try to sew them, yes, and then I had a good conversation with my sewing machine and I've decided... It's not me, it's the sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. something is wrong with the, um, the spool, I guess. Because I cannot get the, the tension to work. I've put it, there, there are nine sort of tension numbers on here. I've tried all nine. Yeah, uh, none of them work. So, 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to glue these together. Just, you know, on the edge. Like so. Yeah. Also, this is a little bit smaller and this is a little bit taller. I want this to be even. So I think I will just snip a bit off. There you go. Now it's straight. And I like that much better. Now, <clears throat> there are two sides to this um, pocket bag. Yes, you have this side with all the sort of lines. And then this side that is more straight. So I want the straight part to be on the outside. <clears throat> I'm going to make a pocket here. So I'm going to fold this up. Just a small pocket. Like so. Yes. We are going to glue these, these two parts down. But before I do that, I need to make sort of a closure thingy here. And once we have done that, then I'm also going to fold this in. Not a lot, just like an inch or so, or maybe three quarters of an inch. Just to have like a nice sort of straight line here. And then I'm going to fold this over. Like so. It will overlap. A little bit be sure to leave enough room let's say that this is like an inch thingy because i want the closure to be like uh, round and then uh, some string around it that there's enough room for a one inch circle so this will work yeah so now i'm gonna fold this in over here so when you open it up this will be a pocket i want to have a pocket on here yeah when you close it up i want to have a pocket on here and i want to have a pocket on the back so there's going to be one two three four pockets and a, a big pocket um that you can only put stuff in that will go all the way to the end so Smaller bits and bobs like post-it stamps, labels and such that you want to have, give as a gift. So that you can put in. They will go all the way to the end of course. Yeah. Hoping that will make sense. So this is sort of the idea. Ladies, I'm not going to give you measurements because you probably don't have this back. You have another one. Just make sure. Yeah. That this will fit the circle. And this, you don't need, even need to do this. But I, I just like to have a nice sort of rounded straight edge. I don't know. It's just me. That's just me. Perfect. Now, um, before we do any decorating, I need to sort of um, put my attention to the closure. Let's find a nice piece of paper. I only need one uh, 12 by 12 sheet. I don't even really need the whole sheet. But I'm going to pick one. Um, I really love this paper, really want to use it. But now I am highly doubting if the gold will work with this. I think silver will work better. I do have silver paint splatter things, but this is not silver. And these are also not really silver. But I don't know. First, let's do the, do the paper. Yeah. Um, I really love this one. It has ledger on here, flowers on here. Oh, uh, for all of you who want to know what this is, this is a crafter clock and it's called Grey Mood. See, it's Grey Mood, it's not Gold Mood, Grey Mood. So, I'm probably gonna ditch the gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this as well. Yeah, so I was thinking about this one. I really like this one. Um, the pack is also nice, but I'm just gonna do this. I think this is a little bit too dark. Very cool because you know again ledger still this one still picking this one we're doing we're do auditioning uh it's too florally for me for now i love it but for now it's too florally stripes that won't work big sort of doily plaits and no I, I picked the right one straight away i'm gonna do this one right we're gonna do that one I'm going to make pockets out of these, yeah, um, very simple ones, but I also want to make the closure out of this one. I have, maybe you've seen all these already, I have a whole bunch of these already, 
um and this is but i believe uh, an inch this is an inch right yeah let's say this is an inch i believe so let's just check i'm gonna make another one of these maybe even two i'm gonna start here at the bottom like so are these the same the same size they are not but i don't mind look now it has a an instant border all around it perfect yes well done 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 i'm going to glue these two together i'm going to ink it yes i will ink it rather dark um ground espresso Yes, I think ground espresso will work best uh, also with the color of the of the bag for the inking. So you need a circle. Um, actually, you need to. I want these to be a little bit sturdier. Made from uh, scrapbook paper or cardstock or what have you. Hopefully, you have a circle punch. Punch. If not, I uh, hope you're very good with scissors. Yes, I used to do it with, with scissors. Great. Hi Art, how's you doing? How was your weekend? It's time to get back to work, buddy. There you go. Well, he's got Monday blues, I guess, because he did not really want to start. There we go. Put it in the middle. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. So, what I want to do, I want to attach this here. I am going to attach it with a brad instead of an eyelet. Yeah. And then I'm going to have string underneath. But this is very heavy string. So this needs to be a little bit raised. For that, I am using... These small sort of uh, hole reinforcers, hole protectors, how, however you want to call it. I have a whole box. I'm just going to take one or two out and, um, and then glue it to the back side. So not on the front, to the back. In that case, it will be raised a little bit. Is this the middle? Let's say that this is the middle. Hopefully it is. Yeah. So this is going to go here. So it needs a hole in the middle and a bread. Let me get my bread. Now just to be sure to have the option to go either gold or silver. Uh, I'm going to use this. <laughs> I have a bunch of these. I like them. They look like old nails. Yeah. And I think... Also, the, the color goes really well uh, with the paper. So I'm using this. I am not putting it on yet. But this is going to be uh, like the closure over here. So I did think about it a little bit. I want to do some background stamping and I want to make pockets. To be very sure where I want to do the background stamping, I am going to make the pockets beforehand, but not gluing them on just yet. So first I'm going to make pockets see where I want to place them, do some background stamping in the background, uh, and then glue down the pockets. That's my idea. So this is going to be the closure together with this one, not with the gold one. I am so sorry. I've shown you all the pretty gold IKEA stuff that we're not going to use this time. We're going to use it another time for sure. Great. So um, a pocket here. Yes. When I want to close this up, this needs to have a, a direction. Uh, you can have it like so. Let it go directional this way. Have it like so, I guess. Um, so what are we going to do? Well, this pocket obviously goes that way. So I'm thinking to have a pocket here again going that way. One and two. And when you fold this over, uh, here's the closure. I think I'm going to have a pocket like so. Yes. And then on the back, 
have a pocket like so. Maybe two? Don't know yet. But let's first start with this pocket over here. I want to have this as a pocket. I'm going to do some measuring. You don't need to do measuring. I'm just going to do some eyeballing marking. I'm just going to take this piece. So uh, I want the pocket to be this high. This is the fold. Not all the way to the top, of course. I'm just going to mark it. I want it to be this high. Yeah. Leaving a little bit of an edge uh, on all sides. And then I'm marking it here as well. I'm going to cut here and there. Make any sense? Oh, and the lovely flower is going to be on here. So I am already very happy. I'm just going to make this pocket first. Hopefully I can still see the marks. There you go. Here's one. And then there was a mark here. Again, not giving you any measurements, guys, because, you know, I don't even have any measurements. I just took it out and put some marks. There you go. So this is going to be a pocket like so. I'm not going to make uh, gussets because I want this to be as flat as possible. I am going to make a notch in here. For that, I am using my two inch um, circle punch. Uh, I got a question. What brand is this? This is EK Tools. EK Tools. EK. EK Tools. Are you eyeballing it? Of course I am. Always eyeballing it. Oh, let's let this be the middle. Ta-da. There you go. Are we rounding corners? We are not. We are not. So I'm going to have a pocket over here. That's pocket pocket one, pocket two. I am not going to put any um, uh, scrapbook paper over here because we're going to have this as sort of a focal point. And then some stamping. We need some stamping here. Then when we fold it in, we need to make another pocket. Will this do? I think so. I'm just going to use this one. Uh, we're going to have it this way. Yeah, I'm going to have it this way. You might hear some rain, guys, because, you know, it's fall. It's raining. We had a storm this morning. It was blowing so hard. The wind was blowing so hard. They did give out a warning in this area. Yes. So pocket here, here. And then a uh, pocket on the back. How are we going to do that? Like so. A deeper pocket. We're going to have a deeper pocket. We're going to have a deeper pocket. Ooh, maybe we have a double pocket. We're going to have a double pocket. Going to put another one here. Cut it over here. And then... Over here. I'm probably not doing any economical sort of cutting of paper. I'm going to lose a lot, I'm guessing. But, you know, that'll make scraps. And we love scraps. And then over here. Is that the middle? Oh, yeah. We can use this as well. Because I really want to have the flower on here. Double pocket. Great. So this is going to be the top of the first pocket. Yes, the taller one, the deeper one. Yes. And then the rose is going to go on here. It's a little bit smaller. It is a little bit smaller. Is that a problem? don't think so. I'm going to cut it on this line. So I don't need to mark it. There you go. What I am going to do is put this sort of over here. Because I want the sort of notches to line up.
Yes. Well, you know, but that happens. I'll do it like so. No. I'm going to do it like so. Lovely. So we also have two pockets here. Great. So now we know where we want to have the pockets. So now I also know where I need to do some background decorating. I think I'm going to use some stamps. Uh, and also I'm going to use stamps that will work very well with this one. Uh, I have, this was the, was this a Halloween set? Yes. Exquisite. Yes. Because it has flowers and scripts. And uh, ground espresso. Yes, I'm going to use that. My neighbor is drilling again. It intermittent drilling. <laughs> so um, I might post a video here and there. And do not be alarmed if you hear some drilling in the background. Okay, uh, for the stamping. Yes, I want to stamp on here, on here, a little bit on here. Yeah, I am using my um, stamp tool. Yeah. Because I am using these stamps. That's the only reason why. Because I do not have an ac acrylic block, block that is this big. So this is going to just as function as an acrylic block. And also I'm really bit, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of large stamps. Because I'm not really good at those. Now Julie had some trouble uh, with her stamping. Because uh, there are two bumps here. Where the paper is folded in. Yeah. So what I really want to do is put something in there now this happens to be the exact size so i'm just going to put this in and i think this will help a little bit it won't take away um all the bumps but a lot of them it will take away so that is why i'm putting this in it's like putting a pillow in a pillowcase a little bit be careful of because you can rip the page the, the back if you're not careful. Yep. Let's just put it in here. Okay, so now we have a sort of an even uh, background to stamp on. Yeah. Right so stamp tool. There you go. This one goes here, over here, and the other one goes over here. Will that stay? Sort of. Hello? Are you staying? Yeah? Yes. So a little bit of the roses. And a little bit of text. So I want the roses to go sort of over here. That'll be a problem because you cannot... Well, we're going to have the roses over here then. You know, we'll just have to make do have these over there okie dokie and i'm using ground espresso for this i don't know if that is sort of the smartest thing to do because this will not make a very clear impression um and these lines are very sort of fine it's a very delicate sort of stamp Let's just see how this works, hoping for the best. There we go. Where's my tool? You have a tool, love. Yes. You bought a tool for this, the air hockey, whatever thing. Let's just use it. I know I said I wasn't going to use anything fancy, but this is not fancy. It is perfect. It is very wet. I can see that it is very wet, so I need to really let this dry for a bit and then we're going to have some text over here just a bit of text over there but i need to flip it all the way around yeah we can do that yeah sure like so and then what's this a piece of something then like so still i need to let it dry i'm just gonna let it dry for a minute guys okay so it's dry enough there you go maybe i should use a little less ink let's try to do that It 
Enough, love. Enough. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'll look nice. Uh, we need to do something similar here, I guess. So... Let's do uh, some more of the flowers, but we need to have it this way. Flowers, where are you? There you go. Another piece. I'm going to have the flowers like so. I need to have something underneath. A piece of scrap paper. Do we have that? Of course. We do. I'm just going to do this. Just I do not want to get my stamp tool all sort of dirty. Yeah, it's going to be on there like so. There you go. Not a lot of ink, love. Just, you know. A little bit is enough. And then for another piece of text, I have to turn it again. Yep. There you go. Oops. It had a little bit of ink left on it. So smart, so smart. Hopefully it will stamp in the same place. Otherwise, I'll be crying. Perfect, it is perfect. Yep, and then we need to have something over here. I'm not going to have the flowers here, maybe in a small corner. For that, I'm going to flip this whole thing over and have the text on here first. Yes. Oh, that wasn't smart. There's, there's still ink on here. Quickly, hold it in place somewhere. I am, I am, I am. See? Well done. <laughs> done. Uh, I'm just going to put a little piece of the flower there. I don't even need to use a stamping tool for this. I just need a small corner. See, that'll work fine. And let's have another flower over there. Perfect. Yes. So, stamping here, 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 and here. And then um, on the back. Yeah. For the back, the pocket's going to be here. So, I want some stamping here. Yes. I did sort of stamp off this whole bed. I'm um, going to do it like so, so that we have a tiny bit of room left here for flower. Still, it left an impression. Um, I cannot even, my, my magnets are probably underneath. I'm so smart. Half the time I'm so smart. Let's just hope it didn't move and we're going to stamp it in the same spot we did so that is a good thing i'm doing the flowers by hand again yeah that works fine and then for this pocket again the pockets are going to be here so i need to stamp a little bit over there I think I want to have lots of flowers here, a bigger piece of flowers. It's 
stamping with my hands while on a stamping tool. Sometimes I'm so practical, right? Yeah. Well, if we're doing that, let's do it with the last part as well. I'm just going to do this. Tada! See, that works as well. You don't need a fancy stamping tool. You need your hands. So it is really, really wet. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. And then let's see where we can put the pockets on. Here the pockets. Don't mind my inky fingers. I'm sorry. Uh, I do not have time to go wash my hands. Um, I inked all around them. Again with ground espresso. This was the one that was going to go over here. Like so. I'm going to use art for this. And just going to glue on the three sides. There you go. Just a bead of glue. That to me is a is a, an odd sentence. There are no beads on here. Beads are right, like round dots. And it's a stripe of glue. And everybody keeps calling it a bead of glue. Okay. I can call it a bead of glue. Doesn't make any sense to me. As a non-English um, speaker. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Doesn't even look like a bead. It's a stripe. But, you know. If you want to call it a bead, I'd be happy to do so. And there you go. The big pocket on first. Leaving a little bit of room on all sides. And there you go. Which one was going to go on here? This one, right? Yeah, because this was a little bit smaller. And I like it to be a little bit smaller. Because then you can really see the pocket. Yeah, it sort of jumps out at you. Especially when I... Um, because I inked it. I will do some more decorating on the pockets, I guess. Even though they're already very, very lovely. I still need to do some decorating on them. There you go. And then we had one more pocket to go here, which was this one. Oh, we're going to do this. It looks so lovely. Yeah. This one over here. It's still a little bit wet. Can you see that? How much ink did I use? Oh, apparently a lot. A lot of ink. There you go. Now, before I glue this pocket down, I really need to attach the closure thingy. Yep. Yeah. I, of course, already love it a bunch. Yes. Um, and I still want to do a little bit more decorated. I'm so sorry. My, <laughs> my fingers are so inky. Um, I want to have something here. And I'm thinking some uh, Tracy Fox labels and some splattering. I made a decision. I'm going to go silver. Yeah. Um, I did sort of see what color uh, did best with a piece of the scrapbook paper. And I think the silver looks amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go splatter. I'm going to use my dot stamp. A million questions about these dot stamps. Now, uh, I have to tell you, this is the original one, which is like a red stamp with a gray backing. The Tim Holtz one came from the set Tiny Toadstools. I've had that set, the fake one from AliExpress for three or four years. Now, I don't know. For a very long time, I didn't even know who Tim Holtz was. So, But the original one is from Tiny uh, Toadstools. So there for all of you. Like, where'd you get that from? Well, mine came from AliExpress. Um, I don't have any silver metallic ink or gunmetal metallic ink, but I do have these metallic watercolors. Now, what you do is the following. I just wet them. I'm going to make my own color using all three colors. Like so. Taking an acrylic block and then putting like paint on you can do this with watercolors you can also do this with some um 
felt tip pens yeah i'm gonna do something similar um in another video where i tell you how to use alternatives for expensive supplies i'm just gonna use this as ink so i'm just i'm really gonna dab it a little bit so there is paint everywhere on all the dots see like so and then i'm just gonna put a bit of a dot here it works as ink it is a little bit drier uh, um, wetter than ink so you need to let it dry a little bit longer so keep that in mind i'm also gonna stamp on the paper as well and a little bit over here just some dots some dots here and there see i think it makes all the difference without having splatters everywhere and i mean everywhere i did it a couple of times and my shirt was covered with splatters and my sewing machine and everything guys i have new um labels from tracy fox i believe it's called a fill in labels or something like that or that you can put your own thing in i think it's fill in labels love them love them i actually bought three new sets because you know, i just love her um she is on etsy if you don't know who tracy fox is it's a fantastic artist she has a shop on Etsy. Do not look for Tracy Fox. Look for Love Junk Journals all in one sentence. Love Junk Journals on Etsy. You'll find her. I think I'm going to have this over here. Just peeking out underneath the pocket. I'm going to do that before we glue this down. That's why I'm doing it now. Let's have another glue page. Um, yep, I love this one. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, you could uh, stamp numbers in here. That's, I think, sort of the idea behind these um, labels that she made, which is a fantastic idea. I love different kind of um, artists that do uh, Etsy kits and such for different reasons. And Tracy has lovely kits. But the labels are the most fantastic. I love labels from different artists, but the best labels are from Tracy Fox. Yeah, she doesn't even know because she probably doesn't watch my channel. But if you do, Tracy, yes. Big, big yes. Can I have something like so? Or no, let's have something more over here. Yeah. Was that in frame? I don't know. And let's see. There you go. Yes, I'm going to do some more decorating over here. But first I want to decorate here be because I really need to put this one on. Yeah. Um, you can use a pokey tool for this. No problem at all. I am just going to use. Let's see how far this will go. I'm going to use this one. Uh, my cropper dial. No, I cannot do the cropper dial. No, I'm going to do the pokey tool. <laughs> this bit is too long for the cropper dial. Then you need a big bite. I also have that one, but uh, it's all the way at the other end of my room. So I'm instead just using a pokey tool to punch a hole in all the layers. There you go. There you go. Will the brad fit through now? Not really. It needs a little bit of a bigger hole. But that's okay. People keep telling me you should uh, cut off the legs. I need tools for that. I don't have tools for that. I'm just going to do it like so. And then covering it with a piece of washi tape. I'm doing that because I do not want the piece of paper that we're going to stuck in here be cut on the on the legs that's why i'm doing doing this looks lovely and now we can glue down the pocket for that i am again using art i thought about it guys i am not going to ink um the paper bag itself normally i would ink all the edges i'm not going to i'm going to keep it as is there you go there you go so this is going to make a new pocket. Ta-da! I want to decorate the pocket over here a little bit. And um, I saw this one. It says 512. 
And I think that will look lovely. You might hear my cat snore again. Yes, she's snoring all day. She's not even sleeping. No, Daisy. <laughs> See, she's quiet now. <laughs> Are you asleep, lovey? No, she's not. There you go. Then we need to decorate the other side. See, that looks so lovely. Um, there's a lot of room for a label here, but then you have two labels. This needs to be glued down better. Um, on top of each other, and I don't like that. So I want a label here, and preferably a longer, thinner, smaller one. Collected by, well, me. Yeah? There you go. Does it need any of the splatters? It does, it does. Let's see if we have enough of the paint. I'm even going to have a little bit on the label. That's fantastic. And a bit on the flowers here. Yep, while we're at it, let's do the top one like, oh, well, as well. There you go, I'm gonna have some over here. Some over here. Maybe a piece here. Thank you. Great. Now for labels here, let's see what else do we have. I want to use the, the sort of blacker ones. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, done. It says number. I am going to uh, I'm going to put a number in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it needs a number. And I believe that's what these labels were made for, to put, you know, your own thing in. Lovely. Something 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 something. And maybe a smaller piece. Not this one. We have so many. No good. No, no good. A round one? Oh yeah, let's do that. Why not have a round one? Fantastic. I'm going to look for a number. I have a stamp set with all numbers. This one came, of course, from AliExpress. I'm choosing number four. Uh, but now for the color. What a color am I going to use? I was thinking, shall we do the silver paint? But I don't think it will show up nicely. So I'm just going to do the ground espresso again. Number four. Ta-da! It has a number on there now. Fantastic. Yep. Now let's do um, the closure part. Hoping this isn't too sort of thick and also where's the beginning here well that that was quick no it'll be fine it'll be fine okay i'm going to tie this around sort of the bread underneath i am going to let it stick out a little bit because i just like that effect Maybe even a bit longer because I might want to tie a bow in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a whole bit here. That's okay because you know I have enough. I do I do have enough. There you go. Now, what I want to do for the closure, I'm going to wind this around, and one more time. I'm going to wind it twice. Let's have some scissors. There we go. Am I cutting the right bit? Yeah. So yeah, winding it around. There you go. And around again. I'm going to put this underneath here because I like that effect. And then you can sort of wind it underneath like so. Have it like this. But you can also make a pretty bow. 
And that's what I'm going to do. Making a pretty bow. Oh, that looks, that looks so cool. Doesn't it? I think it looks cool. There you go. Fantastic. You love it? I love it. It needs um, ephemera in it. Yeah. To make it really, really beautiful. I am quickly going to have a look, guys, how much time we have left to make some ephemera. Um, if not, I'm going to do some ready-made ephemera that I already have to put in here to show you what it would look like. But um, I can tell you, I love it. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough time to make tags with you guys, but I made very, very simple ones just to show you um, how you can use this. Yeah, um, you can have this like so or like so. I am choosing to view it like so because I made a mistake. You guys were probably screaming, no, it's upside down. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you. So um, let me show you. This is the closure. I like it. It's sort of rustic and let's call this um, uh, brown paper packages tied up with string. Yes, if you don't know the reference, it is The Sound of Music. And it's almost time for Sound of Music. That's the movie I watch sort of every Christmas. Yeah, I think it's just the best Christmas mu movie ever. Even though it's not about Christmas. But hey, um, yeah, you, you open it up uh, like so. There you go. Then we have a pocket here. I made two small tags. This is actually the cover of the um, uh, scrapbook pad. Yeah. I just cut it up into small pieces and then put a label here and here. I rounded the corners here and made a tag shape here. So you can have tags in here. Really, really cute. Then you open it up. Yep, you have this big bag. It's completely functional. Yeah, you can put stuff in all the way uh, down there. But you cannot put tall stuff in here. At least not longer and then this fold over here. That's basically it. Um, then I have a small card here. Over there, a large tag here from the scrapbook paper. Really pretty. And then if you have it like so, you turn it over, these are upside down. Yeah. But if you're going to do it like so, then then it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, well, no, this should have been the other way around. But that's okay. Nothing will fall out because the string is uh, wound on top of it. So I made a large tag here, just another Tracy label on them, just very, very simple and a large, well, a medium tag here. So fill these up with tags, piece of ephemera and such, and uh, then in the middle, all your small bits and bobs. Really, really cute to uh, well, put in a journal. Speaking of journal, if you want to have this as a journal, you can put a signature, sort of a smaller signature here, that is this sort of this small. Yeah, put it here. Then you can have a sort of a journal if you wanted to. But this is going to be called uh, ephemeral holder, of course. Something like something like that. You know the title already. I don't. I need to think about it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the project. Maybe you could craft along because you had another bag. Do not make my mistake. Put this the other way, <laughs> other way around. I'll be back again tomorrow with another crafty video. Um, I will be doing a video this week with uh, Michelle's new kit. She is the Junk Journal Studio. The fall bounty is out and it is fantastic. If you have used Summer's uh, bounty, get this one because it's fantastic. And she has a sale on now. But um, I will show everything this week in a video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.